Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner is speaking at a free mask giveaway. Let's listen in. Dr. Wright with Lone Star because it was their initiative and we've started partnering with them. So their idea, we have to uh, just to facilitate their, their program. So Dr. Wright, why don't you come in? Well, we want to thank uh, Mayor Turner and Pastor Matthews for the Houston Food Bank and the uh, uh, Airport Authority for all of the assistance today. Uh, this virus has really impacted students quite a bit, and students are this community. So we want to do everything that we possibly can to be able to help families and students in transition. Uh, so that way we can come out of this on the other side in a much better way than where we are right now. So thank you all. Ronald with the, uh, Rhonda? With the airport system? Well, we're just so excited, Mayor, to be supportive of Lone Star and with the church here and the community. Um, part of our outreach for community outreach is to reach out to areas um, that are associated with us, and we work in the community together. And this is just a, bit, a wonderful opportunity to help our partners. We, we care about you, and you matter to us at the Houston Airport System, and we're glad to be here of service. So. We were able to support by bringing some masks, and uh, we'll bring whatever we need to do to, to be of assistance to you. We just thank you for the opportunity. And Pastor Isaac Matthews, the pastor of God Grace, right here. Yes, I'd like to thank, first of all, all of God's Grace members for coming out uh, to make this endeavor a success. And we're glad to host this event along with uh, the Food Bank, Long Star College, and the city of Houston, we've just begun to make this hot spot a cool spot. So there's more to come. Stay tuned. Thank the city for its help. And so this is one. This will be one of many uh, throughout the next several days. And uh, you know our numbers are looking pretty decent, but we want to keep them going in the right direction. So this is this is a part of it. You see the necessity, the long line, and a lot of 2.1 million people are expected to, to wear this um, starting on Monday. Uh, and I've talked to some of them. They're worried that they're not going to have this by Monday. Uh, do you think, what, what is the city going to do? Well, again, it's, it's, it's mass of face coverings over citations. It's about education. It's about awareness. You know, when the city of Houston, I've talked to, uh, to Chief Acevedo and to my uh, police officers. You know, we are, this is not intended to be punitive. We're not going to be issuing citations. What we're doing is that we're issuing masks. We're giving masks and face covering to our police officers. So if they run into somebody that without a mask, you know, instead of them giving a citation, they'll give you a, they'll give you a, a, a mask, a face covering. Same thing, you know, you're going to hear from other uh, individuals. And so that's, that's the emphasis. Uh, it's about helping people, not hurting people. That's, that's the focus. It's about putting the emphasis on the fact that people need to have something over their nose and mouth. Uh, that's why, you know, I started doing this two weeks ago, you know, and, um, you know, and, 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 and have some fun with it. You know, I try to wear something that goes with the outfit. You know, so, you know. <laughs> the camera's over here, that'd be great. Um, yeah, we're just yeah. Over. Oh, okay. yeah, so can you talk a little bit about, are you surprised whether or not, like, it, it was not, so, so, it didn't seem like it was so controversial when San Antonio and some of the, uh, Dallas, some of the other cities, uh, communities kind of put the order. It seems like it was, yesterday, was, there was a lot of controversy over uh, this. Can you tell me whether or not you're surprised by the politicalization of this order and, and General, you know, unfortunately, too much in these day and time becomes so political. The, the things that you would think, um, um, yeah, San Antonio, Dallas, other other areas are doing it. Um, I think right now, with with so much of the conversation being about reopening, you know, that becomes the focus. And so, um, I think, for example, if it had been done, let's say two or three weeks ago, we may not have had this much controversy. Now, when the conversation is so much about reopening, it just takes on a different tone. And so that's why for us, the focus is uh, we're trying to keep people healthy. We want them to stay healthy. And so it's not intended at all to be punitive. HPD is not going to be out there looking for people who are not wearing their masks and then giving you a citation. And we're, not doing, we're not doing that. So uh, as best I can, let me just try to kind of uh, reset what this is all about. It's about keeping people healthy. When you see a police officer, for example, they're not looking to give you a citation. You know, they're looking to give you a mask or a face covering. That's the focus, okay? We're all on the same team, trying to move in the same direction to keep everybody healthy. That's the focus. And anything else, it kind of gets, 
it should be drowned out by the overriding purpose, and that's health and safety. That's what it's all about. Are you thinking of implementing more fines for temperature? I'm not, for me, it's not about, you know, fines. I'm not even focused on that. My primary focus is keeping everybody safe. And, uh, and, uh, and if you're walking around looking good, but infectious, contagious, I don't want what you got. And I don't, want, I don't want to give you what I got if I'm walking around looking good, you know? And, uh, and that's not for you to comment on, you know? Uh, but it, this, is, this, is, this, is, this is about mass face covering and just leave it like that. It's not about locking people up and it's not about, you know, finding in them anybody. People are already, you know, making tremendous sacrifices. Uh, it's just help. It's just keeping people healthy. And if you don't get to uh, distribute all, all the masks that you have for the people here, we have more people coming over. Sorry about my mask. That's okay. Um, let me ask you, we know, because we know social media played an important role in this distribution. Yeah. Where are people, yeah. people going to be able to Oh, we'll make it very, very well known. This, this is just one of many drives that will be taking place. You know, we thought it would be good, and I want to thank Lone Star again and, and the airport system and the food bank. We thought, you know, after the order came down, it would be good to have this as a distribution point to accent what we are doing. So these distribution centers uh, will be taking place all over the city, especially with our vulnerable communities. Because when you look at those people who have, uh, who have been impacted disproportionately, people in our vulnerable communities, underlying medical conditions, they are the ones who have been dispro disproportionately impacted. Our low-income communities, for example, and so we're gonna be putting a special effort on, on, on attending to their needs. That's the purpose of the press conference today, solely on how do we address at-risk vulnerable populations. So this is just one of many. The, I think at this particular site, uh, they may be distributing between seven to eight thousand masks. Uh, you know, we have we have about um, as of today over a hundred thousand to distribute. So that's just a, this. You know, so there are many others that will be handed out over the next several days, next week or so. Mayor, do you want to say anything about the PLO thing? You have been listening to Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner. He's taking part in a mass giveaway at God's Grace Church in Northwest Houston. He says this is just one of the many mass giveaway drives that will be taking place in the coming days. And the mayor says he's discussed at length with Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo that masks will be given to officers. So once the executive order goes into effect on Monday requiring everyone in Harris County to wear masks, they won't be issuing fines or citations if they see people without masks. They'll be handing out masks to those folks. Yeah, and if you don't go to one of those drives to get one of those masks, you can make one at home out of handkerchiefs, old t-shirts, bandanas, just something aimed to cover your mouth and your nose to help spread the, the, the coronavirus.